Knock, knock. Who is there? It's suddenly a knock at the door by Edgar Carrot. Last night I rewatched my very first video book review. It was Let the Great World Spin by Colin McCann, and I realized that lately I've been using a little bit less camera action. It's been a little less playful, I think. Not so playful with camera angles and things. Maybe I've just been reading really serious books lately where that would seem kind of inappropriate. Have I been too serious for you guys? This week's book is not so deadly serious. No, it's not a collection of knock-knock jokes. But just because it isn't serious doesn't mean that it's not thought-provoking or profound in any way. I think people mix these things up a lot. But being serious doesn't automatically make something profound. And when something's profound, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's serious. Like, in all seriousness, I ate honey bunches of oats for breakfast this morning. It wasn't really profound though, okay? Okay. So, if you haven't read Eckhart Carrot before, I'll introduce you a little bit to his style. He mostly writes very, very short stories. And most of these stories take place in Israel. That's where Eckhart Carrot is from. This is actually the first book on Brave Little Books that is translated from Hebrew. And all of these stories have a kind of absurd element to them. This is what Carrot is known for. Like the title story, Suddenly a Knock at the Door. It's about a man forced to tell a story at gunpoint. And the shooter is kind of picky. He thinks he knows what makes a story a story. Like, the man starts a story. Four people are sitting in a room. It's hot. They're bored. The air conditioner's on the blink. One of them asks for a story. The second one joins in. Then the third. And the man protests. That's not a story. That's an eyewitness report. It's exactly what's happening here right now. Exactly what we're trying to run away from. Don't you go and dump reality on us like a garbage truck. Use your imagination, man. Create. Invent. Take it all away. And here we are, reading this story, and it's exactly this same scene. So I'm like, wait, is this guy right? Is this a story? And I think that it is, because it's the first group of pages in this book, and it's attached to a title right here. And also, on the cover, it says this is a book of stories. So it has to be a story, right? But I think the moral of the story inside the story is not just about the relationship between fiction and reality and how sometimes that line is more blurry than we think it is, but it's also about the relationship between power and violence in storytelling. That is to say, in this story, it's the guy with the gun who gets to decide what a story is. And yes, it is kind of an absurd thing to imagine that some guy with a gun would knock on your door and then push his way in there and ask you to tell him a story. But have you ever heard the saying that history is written by the victors? Sometimes it's attributed to Winston Churchill, but no one really knows. This little story is like that saying, but on a tiny scale. Carrot uses these little stories to talk about bigger issues like violence, power, and control over cultural media. It's a fine balance writing a book that's funny, but also full of questions about the world we really live in. And even some alternate worlds, like the afterworld for one. And also a world of lies, where everyone's lies are true and live together. The more stories I read in this collection, though, the more I realized how strange the world we actually live in really is. So think about that one. This is Suddenly, Suddenly, Suddenly a Knock on the Door. Suddenly a Knock on the Door by Edgar Carrot. And you're watching Brave Little Books.